Tributes continue to pour in for the veteran actor Shashi Kapoor who passed away in Mumbai this evening. We take you down the memory lane with an interview to India Today where Shashi Kapoor spoke at length about his life, films and wife Jennifer. Let's hear what he said. Uh, how do you feel looking back on your film career after all, this, after all these years? I know I'm old but I'm not that old to, to start uh, you know, feeling nostalgic. I mean I have had... Um, a career of what 28 years uh, 1960 to now and uh, I think it's been lovely it's been very nice I've been very lucky very fortunate that I started to get work almost immediately when I had decided to go into the movies was See? this because of your family connections well yes yes of course no no I mean not I didn't get work because of my family connections I, I had to go into the films or rather come into the film industry because of my family. You see, I got married and I would got a son by 1959 and, and by 1960 I felt that it was high time that I started to earn more money and so I left the theatre in 1960 when Prithi theatres closed down and started looking around for jobs in the movies. It was difficult but I got it. But you weren't really interested in films. I mean, theatre was your no, first theater, love. theatre, yes. Theatre was always my first love. Still is. Though I haven't acted on the stage for years and years and years. But I will, maybe. Maybe I'll go back. At the moment, my voice is so bad, I can't even dream of going back to the theatre. It's with all this yelling around <laughs> I'm doing. Well, you've always been a top star, though you never had the number one position, though you had everything going for you. How do you yeah. feel about that? I, I don't know. I, I've... Actually, as I said, you see, when I came into the movies, it, it wasn't to be a star or it wasn't, it was just to get a job and just do your work and play your part, you know, do the acting bit and then get on with it. Uh, so I had never really aspired to be a star and um, that never really um, inflated me or deflated me. It never worried me. It never made me go on a high trip. So it was okay for me, you know, I mean, it's all right. What would you do differently if you had been given the chance, looking back? Oh, nothing, nothing. I, I think uh, I would try and act better than I did <laughs> going back. But uh, no, I, I would have done exactly the same thing again. I mean, I, I think amongst us brothers, we three brothers, Mr. Raj Kapoor, Mr. Shami Kapoor and I, I think I was the one who was absolutely sure about what he wanted to do whether it was acting or whether it was marriage. I mean, when I saw Jennifer when I was 18, I wanted to marry her immediately. My parents said, my God, 18 is a bit young. And uh, um, so I said, okay, I'll wait. So I waited two years. Then they asked me, do you still want us? Yes. Then they said, okay. Like when I was six, I think, an amazing thing happened to me. I saw my first film. Sikandar, which I remember very clearly, and I, I also appeared on the stage uh, in, in, in the Royal Opera House, you know, in Prithi Theatre's play. So that was my deciding age, at the age of six, I think. I'd made up my mind that I do want to be in the show business, you know. Like I was 12 when I was making my first 16mm movie. So I've done all this before. But it's said that you never really took your film career very seriously at the I time. You, you were a bit I, of a ham. I, I still am. I, I, I didn't because I just came in. I just came in to, you know, to get enough money to be able to support a family. And I did. I did manage that well. I looked after my family. I looked after my, my children's education, living, you know, holidays and house and car and crew and all that. Did that. Many of your contemporaries are still doing uh, romantic roles, oh, while yeah. you seem to have transcended into character oh, parts. Yeah, well, how do you feel? I mean, how did that happen? I, well, I, it happened, I think, during Vijeta, I decided that it was high time I started playing uh, character parts. And so I gave myself a character part in my own film, playing my father's son. No, my, my son's father. My father's son. My son's father. So I did that. And I, I rather liked it. And I said, okay. And the next film, I did uh, play a, a character part, Utsav. Then I got some very nice offers to do certain films and where they wanted me to play character parts. And I said, sure, yes. I mean, mind you, you know, I was 18 when I played uh, Jennifer's father, Brubansho, in Othello. 
So, I mean, I, I have never minded playing character parts. Uh, I think it's, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed at my contemporaries playing lead parts and singing around trees and, you know, singing love songs to little girls when their sons are singing songs to the same girls, you know. <laughs> Jennifer's death seems to have affected you a lot in that way. I mean, it seems to have changed your priorities, your lifestyle. Well, surely, of course, yeah. Would you expand on that? No. Please. It's a very personal yeah. thing, you know. Let's stay on the professional side. Well, how has your lifestyle changed? My lifestyle? Fine. I mean, I'm, I'm now becoming, I've become a director. I'm making a movie. I'm making a real commercial movie, Ajuba. Uh, and I'm doing it with with uh, uh, all the the capacity, capability, strength I have. I wish I had more money for it, though. I mean, we could make it into a real big, colossal, Spielbergish film, fantasy film. Jennifer was obviously the most important woman in your life. Of course. So, how did she influence you as a person, as an actor? You, again, you, you you're coming into a very Hindi bolte hain zati mamla, personal thing. No, but I mean, what was? Of course, she played a very important role in my life as as a wife, as an actress, as a friend, as a philosopher, as a guide. Yeah, sure. Twenty eight years of being together, quite uh, a lot. Well, then, how is it that such a talented person like her took so long to find expression? I mean, what do you mean? Was it a deliberate decision? What do you mean part? expression? Well, it was thirty six charangi. I mean, for oh, a long come time. Oh, no, no, before that, she she. I mean, she was on the stage with me up to about 63, 64. She'd had kids by then, two kids. And then there was a gap. Then she was in Shakespeare Wala. Then she was in Bombay Talkie in 1970. It didn't, it bombed. That's another story. But in 1970, she played my lead. And then it was uh, Chorangi Lane. Before Chorangi Lane, it was in Junoon. You know, so she was there. It, and there was no deliberate kind of uh, forcing her not to work. We never did that. What do you miss most about her? Again, come to the wrong thing. Okay. Last one. What do you miss about her? Well, as a person. <laughs> Eight line bold. No, 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 only willing. What made you decide to become a producer? I mean, did it start with 36 yes, Charangili? Yes. No, no, 36 was not my first film. My first film was Junoon. Second one was Kalyug. And third was 36 Charangili. Uh, this was in the 70s, mid-70s, when I was really working very hard and uh, almost around the clock you know, and doing lots and lots of films, but I was not getting any satisfaction. My mom and dad had died and, and I missed them and I just, you know, I, I, there was a kind of a vacuum in my life and so I asked my wife, I said, what shall I do? And she said, well, why don't you do what you want to do? I said, I would love to make a theatre and I would love to make a film that I'm proud of. She said, well, why don't you do it? So we did it. Hmm. We I'm built a theatre and we made Junoon, then Kalyug, then 36 Charongile, and then Vijayata, then Utsav. How did they fare? They bombed. All of them? <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> okay, Ajuba is the first film you're directing. Ajuba is the first film I'm directing as an adult. When I was young, as I said earlier, I directed a film called Pasi. Really, and we shot in RK Studios. I suppose that's, that was the only time when I was shooting on Sundays, because it was during school holidays, Thursdays and Sundays. We shot uh, at RK. You're an actor, you're a producer, you're a director. Um, and a fat old man. <laughs> well, which aspect really fascinates you the oh, most? All. I, I think uh, uh, ever since I can remember, uh, you know, every, almost every day, almost every year of my life, my age, has fascinated me. I, I, I mean, there is, I don't think I can uh, uh, tell you about any kind of uh, uh, regrets at having done the stage work or um, film work. Or, you know, it's been a very fascinating journey. As a producer, it was good. As an actor, it was good. As a student, maybe it was not good. I was very unhappy. I, I kind of didn't enjoy being, being a student. And being a director, what is it? I mean, what are you finding out? I mean, oh, it's great. I think I can now, I can probably take an army, you know, and uh, 
because it's, it's, it's like a one-man army show, you know, I'm doing it. And that's why I'm so hoarse. I'm yelling at people, getting my work done, running behind schedules, you know, and then getting up, making, making up with the time schedule and all that. You're one Indian actor who has succeeded in doing many uh, foreign films. Now, mm, why yeah. is it that you have been so successful? Yeah, well, I don't know. I think providence, luck, or something like that. No, I think I was just lucky to get uh, into the Merchant Ivory Productions unit, where I've been very happy. I've done five films for them. The Householder was the first, then Shakespeare Wala, then Bombay Talkie, then Heat and Dust, and now The Deceivers. And... Uh, I have lovely memories, uh, not always very kind of happy memories, uh, but lovely memories, you know, there's a little difference. And uh, uh, we, uh, Ismail and Jim and I and Ruth and my wife, we always had a very nice association uh, through thin and thick, through happiness and sorrow we were together, and we still are, yeah. Today, what do you give priority to, to the role or to money when you sign a film? I give it to vodka and food. <laughs> <laughs> when you sign a film, Shashi? <laughs> well, I think of vodka and food. You have, you have to pay for it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the role. You wouldn't do a film for a role? Of course I would. I've just done it. I think Sammy and Rosie got laid. It was a very, very difficult role. And there wasn't money in it. But I did it because, I mean, the role nearly killed me. I've never worked so hard. And you can see it. I will. Okay, which films or films have you worked in that you have certain memorable, sort of, had memorable experiences oh, or memories God. of? Oh, like I said, you see, it's been a very f fantastic journey for 28 years. But which film uh, stands out or oh, experiences? Lots of them, you know, I have so many. I mean, The Household and Shakespeare Wala, all of Merchant Ivory Productions. Then, there was a film I did with Conrad Rooks, Siddhartha, that was great fun. Then I did a film with um, Guy Green, partly in Singapore and partly in uh, London. That was good. And Sammy and Rosie was good. Amongst the Indian films, you know, all the films that Amitabh and I did together were great fun, great camaraderie, good unit. Then I did, uh, in the earlier days, I did films with Bimal Roy, who was a terrific, terrific motion picture maker. I do use some of the things that I learned then. Then I did a film, as it, his company, I did a film with Meena Kumariji, who taught me how to, how to speak a few lines, you know, in, in a way that would be projected well, would be received well by the, with the audience. So there have been lots of films that, of course, my own films, I mean, Junoon and Kalyug and 36 and Vijeta and Utsa and now Ajuba. So, I mean, there have been so many films and so many plays. I mean, I, I loved uh, being with Shakespeareana Company. I loved being with Prithvi Theatre, but I learned a lot, and I thank God for that, you know, thank God for that. I mean, I, I'm very sorry when I, when I see kids now who, are, who want to become actors. They don't have any theatre to, to go to. They go to these acting courses, these crash acting courses, you know, which are all big... Uh, money hassles, you know, the big, um, what do you call it, what's the name? Scams. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, it's a shame, but I mean, I, did, I enjoyed playing Shakespeare and Shaw and Sheridan. Great. Which filmmakers' works have had the greatest impression on you that you feel oh, have influenced so many, you? So many, so uh, many. But when I was a kid, people like Dave Kibos and uh, Mehboob Khan, Mr. Raj Kapoor, of course, Mr. Shantaram, Bimal Roy, then Guru Dutt, and Satyajit Rai, Sham Benegal. What is it about them that's... Uh... Many things. You know, you, it's, it, it would take all day, or maybe books, to, uh, to explain exactly what it is. A lot of important people in the industry have joined politics. Yeah. Have you any such ambitions? No, 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 no. I don't understand politics of films also, you know. I have not understood family politics either. Though I made a film on family politics, Kalyug. Mm. But no, I, I'm not a politician, I'm not a politique. I, I stick to my kind of work and uh, have my vodka and I think it's time All I All three have of your children. <laughs> three more questions. 
Yeah. All three of your children have followed you into films. Now, did Isn't you encourage? Nice? Uh, did you no, encourage no. that? Or of what course, I was there to encourage if they wanted any advice. But there was no forcing, like with me. My dad never forced me, but my dad was there. So at the age of six, when when I showed an inclination, he kept me at school. But at the same time, I was allowed to come on the stage or go along with him during tours. You know, he never said, "Hey, karna." He never said that. Same thing. I never did that with Kunal and Karan and Sanjana. Have you ever considered remarrying? Oh, Christ, no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I couldn't. I don't think I can. I don't think I can find anyone better. Have you looked? I, I know I can't. Really, I know I, I can't find anyone like that. They're not made anymore, you know. <laughs> they don't make them like that. That is a 1934 model. Very well built. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.